Guys, welcome on back to the channel. Today we are out braving the snow again, and we got a couple of things to, to get through today. So first of all, we're, we're not gonna lose any discs. That's that's like top one priority. The next thing is we're gonna be talking about some, some goals and plans that I have for the channel for the uh, duration of 2024, what I would like to accomplish, what you guys can expect from the channel and stuff like that. <clears throat> and we're gonna do that. Well, uh, we're enjoying this interesting weather. Despite how it looks, it's actually really warm. It's like 52 degrees, but there's a bunch of snow still. So, gotta love Montana. So let's get right into it. Get in the basket. Okay, hold one. We threw the Mako last time and we piped that thing because it's just such a super straight disc. So we're throwing the truth. And I think we're just gonna, we're gonna try to shoot the gap on this one. Oh, bad kick off the tree. Kick left, that's okay. So first things first, I'm gonna be creating a weekly upload schedule. So every week there will be a new video, one video a week, four different topics, Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of those. So here's what I want to try to accomplish in 2024. Uh, as soon as most of this snow goes away, uh, we'll be introducing my brother to the channel and uh, he's going to be playing with me a whole lot. His name's Dan and Dan and I are going to be at least once a month doing a brother battle where we come out here and we golf off and see who can, who can be the champion for the longest. So expect brother battles at least once a month. Let's go find our disc. Nice. Sticking straight up. This snow is super like slushy. It's heavy, it's wet, it's kind of slippery. We left, we got a little bit short because we hit the tree, but got the glitch. Maybe we can make something happen. Not like that though. It's okay. That's uh, an easy tap in for three. Easy threes. Hopefully we can keep those going. You know, maybe we'll, uh... yeah. <laughs> ah, the snow's thick. Maybe we'll find my, uh, my leopard out there somewhere. So we're throwing the, the Maverick. So the next thing is gonna be the On the Road series. I, I really hope you guys are gonna be excited about that. So anywhere that's within a four hour radius of my home course, that way I can make it a day trip. I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna play this new course, and then I'm gonna rate it from one to 10. That way you guys can get a glimpse into what is Montana disc golf and I get to play some new courses because I really haven't played that many. So I'm really excited about the On the Road series. Hold two. Let's not lose the disc. I am, I, I changed the camera angle so I can see exactly where it lands if I, if I lose track of it. Well, that's not gonna be hard to find. Cause that went straight into the tree. Grip locked that a little bit. Dang, that thing buried itself. All right, we're gonna, Give the Mako a run at it. Man, that thing is straight. So straight. I think I can get my foot behind it. Yep. Ooh, that's mighty uncomfortable. Okay. Woo! Still not seeing an orange leopard out here. Okay, hole three. Going with the Mako. We got a little bit of a tailwind, so I'm hoping it'll just help keep this thing moving left rather than turning over. Uh, I'm trying not to throw far. That way I can really keep my eyes on it because this snow, as soon as the disc hits it, it just buries itself. <laughs> it just buries itself as long as it doesn't hit flat. It just, yeah, it just 
disappears. So I'm really just trying to keep them nice and short, findable, easy pars. Now my disc's wet. Great, great job. Okay, now the wind shifted to a headwind. Really? Left to right, headwind. I'm committing. I'm not changing discs. Nice and low. Keep moving left. Perfect. Right down the middle. It's a little short, but that's better than being lost. Should be able to get up and down for a nice easy three. I didn't talk about the next part on the tee pad, so we'll do it as we walk and hopefully not slip and fall. The next thing you can look forward to on the channel is challenge videos. Uh, we're going to be doing two different... We're going to be doing two different types of challenge videos. So I'll talk about the first type here. The first type is going to be fun challenge videos where we go out and find something that's going to make the game fun, exciting, keep it interesting. I'm not going to be, uh, you know, redundant or anything like that. Because sometimes if you just come out to score every time, the game can get really stressful and not enjoyable. So we're gonna come out here and we're just gonna keep it fun. This thing just slid. Look at these, look at some slide marks. Oh God, my bag. It just slid on top. How awesome is that? All right, nice little, nice little up and down here. Okay, we're going with the truth. Don't wanna throw it too hard. I don't want to blast right by the basket, but I want something that's going to get there with relative ease. I'm going to truth, fan grip, maybe a little Anheuser, and just kind of push it up to the basket. Perfect. So I'm really excited for 2024, guys. Uh, it's been... A long time coming getting prepared and ready to start this channel i've been wanting to do it for a long time but i wanted to make sure that i was not total garbage at disc golf before i started the channel <clears throat> so i'm probably uh i'm definitely above beginner level but below like good amateur level so this is this is going to be kind of a journey of my growth as a disc golfer and hopefully some fun for you guys along the way. So let's make this putt. Let's make the putt. Nice, easy little glitch putt. Heck yeah. What do I have that could do that? A felon maybe? Okay. Hold for again because I uh, forgot to hit record. Doing this uh, one man army show is kind of kind of tough. So my first shot was, uh, I threw an MVP bolt because I got a strong headwind that's right to left. So I wanted something with a little more beef. The bolt, I almost aced it. I'll show you guys when I get up there. But now we have to redemption shot with a felon. And I don't, this might be too much beef, but as, as the, the general rule for today is, low and short is better than long and lost. So. I don't know if I can replicate that good of a shot again. I'm so sad. Ugh. I mean, pretty, pretty okay. I'm okay with that. That felon is beefy. Okay, now, let's say, on our way. <laughs> so the second type of challenge video, oh God that uh, we're going to be doing is tough challenges. So ugh. on the flip side of what I said before, having fun to keep things interesting, we're going to be doing tough challenges to really push ourselves to excel. Uh, not necessarily like scoring rounds, but you know, one disc challenges or, you know, just stuff to really 
challenge each other and bring ourselves to the next level. So, where did this felon get to? That's not good. Okay, felon hit the tree. I thought it landed just like right up in front. Oh no! No! Oh no! Oh man! Okay, there's the bolt. Found the bolt. That's good. Bolt landed really, really good. Felon, however, I clipped this tree. I thought it got up in front of that bush. Maybe it didn't. That thing it hit that tree and it looked like it landed right in front of the basket, which should be like, or not the basket, the, that bush. So it should be like right in here. I don't think it got up this far. Maybe it did. Check up a little closer. No, that thing landed and dug into the snow somewhere around here. Of course, I've walked all over. No way. No way. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna bring the camera. Woo! This is insane. Now I gotta try to find it again. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, check this out. Check this out. There it is. There it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play both discs since I wasn't recording the volt the first throw and we recorded the felon, I'm gonna play it, but I also wanna play that volt and see if I can't get a birdie. Let's pull this thing out of its frosty tomb. There it is. Ooh. Okay, sweet success, we didn't lose it. Get in. Oh, that was too far. <laughs> All right, now let's uh, let's go check out this bolt shot. I wasn't kidding when I almost aced it. So check this out. So there's the basket. I swear I haven't touched this either. And it is right back here, sitting pretty. There it is. That had to have been so close, man. The Fallon's putt here for par. Now, hopefully the mic's not too far away and doesn't start breaking up. I don't think so. It's birdie. And I threw it like a dummy. <sighs> Dink. Woo. Woo, almost missed. <laughs> All right. Doing pretty good today. We have four big main key points that I'm going to be trying to upload every week. One of them a week anyway. So getting my brother Dan in here. Dan is a disabled vet. Dan retired as a Marine. So thank you to him for his service. And he moved up here to be closer to me and he gets drug along playing some disc golf. So big shout out to Dan. Next things, it's on the road series. I'm really excited about that. Go play more courses. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And then challenge videos, the fun challenge videos, and then the, uh, the hard or difficult challenges to make things keep us elevated. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hole five. Guys, I really hope you are uh, excited for this uh, plan for 2024 that I have and hopefully we can execute it e efficiently so just just to recap one more time so brother Dan brother battles we got on the road series and then we have the two different types of challenge videos 
you know, sprinkled intermittently here and there, you know, I'll come out and do some, some solo stuff and, you know, we'll do some, some disc reviews and, and whatnot. And yeah, just, I, so much content planned and I'm really excited to make it. So I hope you guys are down for the journey. So smash the subscribe, like the video. Let's, uh, let's knock out whole five. We're going with the factory second infinite discs sphinx. It's a, it's a little flippy. So I'm hoping we can just kind of S line right down the middle of the, the fairway here. Or it's just gonna flip up to flat and go very left on the whole six. Oh boy, that's gonna be hard to find. That came in hot. All right, give myself a little bit of a scramble on five. So hopefully we can first of all find the disc uh, and then scramble up for a par, keep ourselves clean. My feet are getting kind of cold. Everything else is warm, but my feet are getting cold. Holy snow's deep here. I don't think this thing even landed in frame. So I'm kind of on my own to try to find it. But I think it landed right up in here somewhere. Oh boy. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna set you down and start looking. Okay, well, I I looked around for probably a good 20 minutes. I couldn't find it. So, unfortunately, rip to the Sphinx. And it's uh, shooting par for provisional. So I'm gonna go from the last place that I thought I saw it and let's try to make a play. It would be really funny if I just like stumbled upon it, but I don't think so. I've walked everywhere right here. So, all right, shooting for par. Got our Mako. We're just gonna try to get through this right gap close to the basket. Hopefully not blow past it. Or way to the right. Okay, well, that's a tester. We're falling apart here on the last hole. So tomorrow is also supposed to be in the 50s. So I'm really hoping, you know, within the next week or so, we can get back into some nicer weather and get out here without losing discs. I mean, if we do lose a disc, it's gonna have to come from something pretty substantial. But, it's just far too easy to lose discs. And unfortunately, I'm not made of money. So I don't have the funds to come out here and lose a disc once a week. Can we save a bogey? Can we save a bogey? Yes, we can. The, uh, the wind is picking up. Clouds are looking pretty yucky. So I think we're going to call it a day for today so guys thank you so much for joining me on this snowy escapade and uh, again subscribe to the channel if you're uh, interested in following along for our four different monthly topics that I'm gonna be uploading and then uh, there's gonna be some other people joining the channel as well periodically for my uh, on the road series so keep your eyes out for that keep those notifications on and until then guys See you in the next one. Peace out.